हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज अबाउट द दैट व्हाई वी ड्रॉ शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम फॉर एवरी टाइप ऑफ बीम वी ऑलवेज ड्रॉ दीस टू टाइप ऑफ द डायग्राम्स द शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड द बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम सो लेट्स ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जांपल सो लेट्स सपोज दिस इज एन आरसी फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच कंपोज ऑफ कॉलम्स slabes and beams so if i take this beam as an example this beam and these are the columns i will also take here as an example so this beam is been supported by these two columns and there will be any load acting on this floor and this load from the floor will be transferred to the beam so this is my beam here and these will be the two columns and now there will be some load acting on this beam coming from the slab so this is any beam with a uniformly distributed load now we will have to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram so the shear force diagram will look like this and the bending moment diagram for the simply supported beam will look like this so this is the shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram for the simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load and we will see here that there will be maximum moment here at this point we call it mu and here at these points we will have maximum shear forces vu and here also vu so first to discuss why we draw the bending moment diagram so this mu will create if this is my beam here so this is my beam so due to the maximum moment on the beam there will be some cracks created inside this beam and we call such type of crack is the tensile cracks tensile cracks because it is in the tension portion of the beam now to avoid these tensile cracks we have to reinforce this beam So what we do we place here reinforcement bar these are the longitudinal bars placed in the beams in order to take the bending stresses in order to resist these bending stresses so we place here the reinforcement in this reinforcement area will be represented by ast but we don't know that how much area of reinforcement should be provided in this beam we don't know about this area of reinforcement there is a maximum bending moment created inside the beam and due to this maximum bending moment there will be cracks created inside this body in order to avoid these cracks what we have to do we have to provide the area of the steel bar to avoid these tensile cracks and this area of steel bar will be dependent on the moment coming from the loads so according to the aci according to the aci codes here i just showing here the aci codes but it is also same in the european code and also in the indian standards the principle is same we can find the area of steel by this way that mu divided by phi into f phi into d minus a by 2 so area of steel is directly dependent on the bending moment diagram the more moment coming on the beam the maximum moment the more area will be provided in order to take these tensile stresses are in order to avoid these tensile stresses so these are the another factor which is used for the uh, tensile member point 9 if phi is the yield tensile strength of the steel bar d is the effective depth and a is the compressive block depth but these are not important to us because here in this lecture we are only interested in why we draw the bending moment diagram because we find out the moment here from this diagram and according to this we provide our steel bar so we provide steel bar in order to avoid the tensile cracks and to resist the maximum bending moment now the second one is the shear force if i consider the same diagram here this is my beam and we have shear stresses created due to this load and we have here maximum shear stresses maximum shearing load so this shear load which is maximum at the ends of the beam will create shear cracks in the beam if i consider this is the 
beam. So due to this load, maximum shear stresses due to be shear cracks in our beam section. Here as well in both the from both the ends. So now to avoid these shear cracks, this these will be known as the shear cracks because they are in the shear direction and also created due to the shear load. Now to avoid these shear cracks in our beam, what we do here, we provide our shear reinforcement. So here in this beam, we provide our stirrups or we call as the shear reinforcement throughout our beam section in order to resist the shear load. So these are known as the shear reinforcement. And also the spacing of this stirrups depends upon the shear. If this is spacing is, the spacing of the stirrups depend upon the shear load. The more shear load acting on the body, the less will be the spacing between the stirrups and vice versa. So the main purpose of to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram is to understand the maximum shear force acting on the beam and accordingly we provide the spacing of the stirrups and the bend, maximum bending moment and according to which we provide our steel bar. So hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.